Hi, welcome back. I promised you a, uh, a run through of the David Walter calendar system now that uh, it's all been uh, uh, sorted out and cleaned and uh, reassembled and tested and adjusted and many hours have gone into this just um, sorting out these uh, couple of little gremlins that were in it. So the overview of the system is such. Over here you've got two hands uh, concentric to each other smaller hand here is uh, telling you which part of the four-year cycle of the leap year you're in. Uh, the hand above it is the month of the year. You've got the hand down here which is the uh, day of the week and then you've got this large hand here with this square aperture which through which you would read the date. Now the hands are um, are driven in different ways, three different ways really. Uh, starting with this, which is the uh, the day of the week, uh, this is driven fairly uh, simply by this little um, pawl here. When the gravity arm is moving up, it just flicks over the top, and then when it drops, it uh, pushes it round by one. So that puts it on to the next day of the week. Uh, over on this side, this is the clever bit of the system really. This is the uh, mechanical computer, if you like, that calculates the, uh, the, the leap year, the 29th day of February. And what you've got is a, a cam within a cam, if you like. The outer cam, they move independently to each other and although they are linked through a wheel and pinion. The outer cam, this bit here, has different lobes on it. It has the uh, the taller lobe is for the 31 day months and the deeper lobe is for the 30 day months. There is also a, uh, a gap which is for February and so for February when the gap lines up it will read through the it'll the, the tail of this which I'll come to in a moment will push through the gap and it will read on the inner cam now for three of the four occasions that this occurs it will read uh, it'll go all the way in deep and it will uh, do the uh, 28 days but on one of the occasions can you see there is a, uh, a, a step and that step will be presented to the gap so that it won't be able to move in quite as far and you'll get 29 rather than 28. So uh, it's a, quite a clever little uh, mechanical computer system there. Uh, in the centre here you've got the uh, retrograde function if you like. This is the main calendar wheel and this is uh, ratcheted on by this pawl here. So every pump of the calendar system, which occurs um, once every 12 hours, every 24 hours, sorry, there we go, it will push it on by one. And you can see this catcher is flicking over the top and is getting ready to push it on, whereas this pole here is holding it from flying back. Because this is powered by a pinion underneath this wheel in engagement with this quadrant and this quadrant in turn is powered by a mainspring coiled up in this barrel here so it's trying to return all the time it's trying to move back in this direction like that uh, which would cause the hand to return to one uh, so this paw here is preventing that from happening so every time the clock moves on one it's another one when you get to the end of the month, you have this lever here which comes into play. Now this lever you can see has got this sort of hook arrangement on the top of it. And that hook arrangement uh, is pressing this steel piece here into the right uh, position depending on how far it's allowed to move against that cam. 
So if I come round, so that's the 20th now, and the first. Now, can you see the steel piece here now is beginning to interact with that steel hook? And what's happening is, firstly, it's pushing the steel hook up against this cam. So there's a, 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 a part of the, a protrusion of the, uh, of the detent here, which is touching up against the cam now. And so depending on the height of the different uh, part of the cam that it's presented to, will dictate the position that this then rests at. When that's found its rest position, and the wheel continues to come round, it begins pushing this down, which is sprung with a little uh, sp spring under here. It begins pushing it down. So obviously the, the, the taller the step on this cam, the further in this will be held and the further down this will end up being presented to this tailpiece here. So this is going to be a, a full 31 day month end. If I go on, I'm on the uh, 27th at the moment, 28th, 29th, and you can see here already we've missed the first couple of steps. Now we're in line with the 30th but it's also going to miss it here so when we go on to 31, sorry that was 30, 31, we're now presented with the steel piece here which is going to come up against here. So on the next calendar change, what's going to happen is instead of it going on another one and locking again on this, what it's going to do is it's going to kick this out of the way. And there's a little catcher spring up here, which will catch that, uh, that paw when it's kicked out of the way and hold it in the, in the unlocked position. So you can see that now we're on 30, uh, sorry, 31, so we're on the last day of the month because we're on a tall step on the cam here. This is pushed up against that tall step, which has meant that it's pushed this steel piece all the way down to present the last step there to this tail. So on the next calendar change, it is, any, well, also just as a note, you can see that the, the quadrant is now all the way down, fully charging this spring down here. So on the next calendar change, it's going to advance the hand as it would normally because that's the only action that this can this can carry out. But in doing so, this steel piece is now going to push this catching paw out of the way. The catching spring up here is going to hold it in the unlock position. It'll be free to run and it'll flick back around again. So uh, if I show you that action now. So this is the, uh, me simulating being on the top of the cam uh, on the top of the lift for the uh, uh, for the cam on this side and it dropping off. So you've got a lovely instantaneous state change there with the retrograde action of this hand. You may have also noticed that this hand here moved on when it was re um, when the retrograde action was occurring. What's actually happening there is if I demonstrate to you we move the calendar on. If you watch the quadrant coming down in the background there, there is a small blade spring on the tip of that quadrant and there is a star wheel tucked away back here and what's going to happen is the little blade spring on the end of this is going to brush past that star wheel as the quadrant falls. So there it goes, it's just flicked past it now. So once it's flicked past at that point whatever happens after now, when it does its reverse movement, it is going to pull that star wheel on. And because that star wheel is meshed with another one behind this stack of wheels here, it will advance that hand on one and that part of the mechanism. So we're actually going up for a, a 30 now because you can see we're in a, a deeper part of the cam and the uh, the, the lever here is pushing in deeper, which means that it hasn't pushed this down quite as far, so we're on the step above at the moment. And on the next action, it retrogrades it round and it's pushed that around one more.
Okay, so just in a little bit more detail, you can see here the cam here. We're now on a, a taller part of the cam. The tail of this is going to be presented to a taller part. You can see there. The, you can see the steel piece coming around now. You can see that that is sprung loaded, uh, trying to, to return it in that direction. So what's going to happen? Now you see it's just starting to, there we go, it's pushed this sort of control detent, whatever you want to call it, into the cam. So now it's going. the action is that it's going to start pushing this down as it runs along the underside of that hook. So can you see it's pushing it down and we are now on the uh, 29th, sorry 28th. 29th, 30th, 31st, and can you see where where the piece here is now about, just about to boot that out of the way, so there we go. And it does it as a, um, as a lovely smart retrograde action. I think something that would possibly be interesting is to watch the uh, the leap year action. So this is the 29th of February that's going to occur. So this hand at the moment on the dial would be pointing at February, and this hand would be pointing at the at the leap. So it's the the fourth part of the year. And what's happened is this inner cam here is presenting the the lobe part to the gap in the outer cam, which is there. So what's going to happen is that this, you see you can push through the gap and up against the lobe of the inner cam, which means that the steel piece that this controls uh, won't be pushed down at all, really. It'll, it'll be pushed down the least amount out of any of the, um, uh, sorry, not the least amount, one from least, because of course the least amount would be 28 days uh, when it would be all the way in. This one is 29, so it's it's just sort of one step in. Uh, so let me just advance the calendar a little bit and then bring it on so that would be the 28th of February but you see because we're on the uh, the steeper bit of the cam we're going to get another change out of it which it's done now so now we're on the 29th of February and you can see the uh, the step on the steel piece here is about to kick this at that point so the next change is returning to 1 so that was the 29th of February and the hand here now is pointing at March and you can see a, a steep part of the outer cam so we're going to get a 31 day and also from a slightly different camera angle, uh, this is a 28 uh, day February. So we're coming up now to the 27th at the moment and there's 28. So we're on the 28th now and you can see here we're all the way in to the cam. We're through the slot and we're onto the thinner part of the cam there. So this steel piece at the top has hardly moved at all because this is in the sort of uppermost position which meant that it's been presented to the, uh, the tail. I know it's not really in shot but uh, it's been presented to the tail uh, at the earliest opportunity. So the next change 
is the retrograde for the uh, 28th and this hand now has moved on one to March and we're on a 31 on the outer calf. 